Hi, I'm Nick Fru. I've been reporting on the SMU football investigation for The Signal. This is a very complicated story with uh, just a lot of stuff going on and it's very easy to get confused in it. This is a video to help everybody understand exactly what's going on. So, start from the very beginning. Arculus Jack is the player in question right now. He was on the Saskatchewan Rough Riders practice squad until October 11th, 2016. You sports has a rule that if, in this case Jack, was affiliated with a CFL team after a deadline date of August 15th, then he has to wait a year, like a full calendar year, before he can participate in new sports competition. So, bearing that rule, Jack would have had to wait until October 11th, 2017, before he could be playing in games with St. Mary's University. But he did. So, because of that, U Sports received an anonymous call saying that St. Mary's had an ineligible player. So, U Sports let St. Mary's know that, that, that they knew that they received the call. Um, St. Mary's responded. U Sports' response after a couple days was, we don't have, given the information we have right now, we are not prepared to do an investigation as U Sports being the key term because U Sports and the US are kind of like federal and provincial governments in a sense, not entirely, but in a way. They both work together, but the, at the same time, they are separate entities. So all of these teams, as other teams, whether in the AUS, OUA, whatever, all of these teams are part of your sports, but in no way does your sports have jurisdiction over the AUS. So, when U Sports said that they would not pursue an investigation into St. Mary's as U Sports, that didn't mean that Acadia, St. FX, Mount Allison, and Bishop University couldn't complain to the AUS, which would force an investigation by U Sports because these were all members. So this is where things start to break down a bit. This is where the legal side of things starts coming in. With this complaint, okay, U Sports has to now do an investigation. That upset St. Mary's because they thought that there was an agreement with U Sports that there would be no problem with Arculus Jack. That there is no investigation, what are you doing? So they take them to court and they're looking for an injunction. And so this is going on. And then on Thursday, late Thursday afternoon, the AUS announces, well really, Phil Curry, the executive director of the AUS, announces that the Loney Bowl is canceled. So the Loney Bowl, a national quarterfinal, so you know, you could think of that as a U Sports game, is canceled. After, on Friday morning, sorry, on Friday morning, SMU, 
one was granted by the Ontario Superior Court a in temporary injunction, meaning U Sports, their investigation is now put on hold. And it also means that, well, partially, that they can't do anything about the Loney Bowl being canceled. Which means all of this falls onto the AUS now. Friday afternoon, SMU goes to Nova Scotia Supreme Court. And now they're looking for an injunction against the AUS. And basically, they're trying to reinstate the game because. in their eyes they did nothing wrong. In their eyes, and with this injunction um, by the Ontario court, it means that the game is like, you know, they think the game should be played. What they're looking into tonight, right now, is whether Phil Curry acted hastily, and they're also looking at it moving this issue further because the other thing at stake here or sorry moving this up into the order so that I get done quickly because the other thing at stake not only is it the Loney Bowl it's the other games right like tonight Saturday night um, the OUA their champ is already decided so Western Mustangs they won their game which means they play the winner of the AUS which at, on Thursday night was Acadia. But right now, no one knows. That's set for November 18th, so a week from now. The U Sport, like these national playoffs, they cannot be put on hold because of this game. Because it's not only the AUS that is playing right now, it would throw off the OUA, so Western, it would also throw off the teams further west and also in Quebec. So, and then, after, so although the semifinal games are played next weekend, the weekend after that is the Vanier Cup. That's the national championship. So you're talking, really, the Loney Bowl needs to be figured out. Like, this needs to be figured out and or played probably by Tuesday at the very latest because you need time to rest and then you need time to prepare. So, four days, even the pros don't always do that. So that's essentially what's going on right now. And I'll fill you in with more as it happens. From the signal, I'm Nick Fro.